In our last episode, we defended the civilian fleet in the Theseus while she refueled, and now we're at Vergon trying to meet up with the last of the colonial fleet in hopes to counterattack the Cylons. Jump complete. Reading debris in low orbit and multiple nuclear detonations on the surface. Vergon is gone. The fleet is gone. Reading incoming trade is contact. Cylon Raider, pilots, abort landing sequence. Intercept and destroy. We cannot afford to have our position compromised. Welcome, Theseus. Engaging Sparrow down. Pilots, civilian ships are within our firing solution. All turrets are on standby. Roger that, sir. Engaging. Silent Raider has jumped. I repeat, the Silent Raider has jumped. We are prepping as many combat wings as we can for launch. But we've taken too much of a beating to hold off a base ship, let alone several. This is the end of the line, pilots. Short of a miracle, I don't see how we can hold them off. Lords, I hope you're hearing me. Considering what we've been through... Considering what happened to the fleet... I don't think they are. Well, it looks like we're the last Battlestar. Reading a new trade is contact! Cylon base ship! Brace for incoming ordnance! You heard the man. Start targeting those warheads. We can't afford to let them or the any bogies through or we'll lose the cities. This is the Theseus to all civilian craft. Change course to bearing 90 Karam 0. Place as much distance as you can between yourselves and the Theseus. The Cylons are targeting us. Prometheus to Theseus. We'll be left without cover. A single raider slipping by is all take. Your concerns have been noted. We are launching additional wings. Orange Wing, once in the air, has been ordered to provide cover. Pilots, stay clear of our firing solution. We are engaging the base ship. We're launching Blue Squadron now. We have another two wings that we're prepping in the launch tubes. Okay, so that firing solution should take care of those missiles that they told us about earlier. A new wing of Cylon Raiders on Dreyas. Radiological alarm. Detecting active nuclear warheads. They're targeting the Theseus. Okay, those guys have nukes, so we're going to go for them first. I'm using uh, Glide to uh, keep my ship at 165. Reading a second base star on Dreyas. Barry. 320. Carib 290. The base ship appears to be damaged from a previous engagement. We are targeting the base ship with our dorsal turrets. Stay clear from the engagement zone. This is our lead. We're here to keep the coasters off these cities. Well, she might be able to hold off two base stars for a while. Check your six, check your six. There's a bandit on your tail. I don't care how many times I do this, this is still the coolest maneuver you can do in this game. I love semi-Newtonian physics. Okay, now we can continue with Quasar. Theseus wasn't designed to hold out against that many base stars. Nuclear missiles inbound. New wing of Cylon Raiders. Designation Optic. Those intercept course of the civilians. Green and yellow squadrons have been launched. All birds are now in the air. Raptors are now being fueled for emergency evacuation. We're going to give these goddamn toasters a bloody nose they won't forget for some time. Check your six. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's hiding behind the sun. Great. That's a good tactic, flying in with the sun at your back. He looks like he just flew over me. Sir, we've got bandits on your head. Okay, where's that last Quasar? If I can take out Quasar 3, then we won't have to worry about the nukes hitting the Theseus. Okay, looks like he was taken out. Now I can go for Optic. Optic's the, uh, the raiders that are going for the civilians. Looks like I was too late. I really should have focused on Optic before I went for uh, Quasar. Oh, I gotta make sure we don't lose any more civilians. We lost way too many lives in the last battle. Bandit on Dreyas.
can't let another ship fall. We've gotten this far. Can't lose any more civilians. The Theseus should be fine, though, so I just need to focus on getting these guys. Okay, it looks like... God damn it, I can't lose this bandit. Yeah, those heavy torpedoes are hitting straight for him. Just lost blue one. I don't know how long we're gonna be able to hold out in this fight. My Viper's not looking too good either. I'm uh, sitting at 37% hull strength. And I don't know how long Theseus is gonna hold out either. The Sobek class Battlestar wasn't designed to withstand prolonged engagements with multiple base stars. Now, if we had Galactica, that'd be a different story, but uh, Galactica was about to be retired and turned into a museum. Score another one for me. I don't make battle stars like they used to, but the Sobek class was designed as more of a hit and run type. This looks like it will be the Theseus' last fight. We've lost pressure on decks A through C. All hull is compromised and internal fires are dangerously close to the hangar decks. Pilots, we're launching all transports and evac raptors we managed to get fueled in time. All told, there are 400 souls. But we won't be coming out of this alive and give them a fighting chance. Pilots, we are arming all remaining nuclear warheads. BLS tubes 1 through 12 are now armed. Theseus, at that range, it's suicide. We know that. Get those FTL drives spooled and get the hell out of here. Theseus is going to sacrifice herself so the civilians can get away. And there's no point in getting closer because the blast would take out my Viper. So all I can do now is sit back and watch as the Theseus is slowly destroyed. I kind of like this part of the game. It, it really like emphasizes the sense of hopelessness in the show and really adds something personal. This star neutralized. All right, one small victory. Acknowledged. I can't think of too many games that really give you the sense of hopelessness of just sitting here watching the crew of a ship that you've grown fond of just destroyed. There she goes, in a big burning ball of glory. Thank you, Theseus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Don't be thanking them so soon. Prometheus, we're going to need as much space on deck for those evac raptors as possible. Let's hope your drives are spooled before the toasters make a comeback. Our drives are spooled, but the 
yet the Oaktown's for Ragnar are taking too long. We will not leave ourselves exposed to another silent attack. We still have some time before FTL Cogs are completed, and then we'll get the hell out of here. All of us are getting out of here, together. My first responsibility is to my crew, and I for one am not going to wait here for the sound to return. We're slaving our navigation computer with our mainframe. It's done. When the silence return, we'll be long gone. Are you insane? When the silence return, they'll have open access to all of your systems. Roger that, sir. Engaging the target. Roger that, sir. Engaging the target. Alright, if we don't take out these missiles, they'll take out the shuttles and the evac raptors, so it's critical that we shoot these down. And it looks like they're getting shot down by my wingman. These missiles are too far away, so I'm going to have to order all wings to engage and destroy. I just hope they're able to get to them in time. Alright, all's clear for now. Wonder how long before the Cylons get back. And I probably shouldn't be asking that question. Usually when you say that, something bad happens. Alright, let's order everyone to protect the Keplin. Acknowledged! New contact! Someone pay ship. They've been toying with us the whole time. FGL is still down. We don't stand a chance. Inbound. Cylon Raiders on attack vector. They're targeting us. FGL calc's completed. Beginning the jump for Ragnar. If you can land before the jump, we're glad to have you. Otherwise, I'm sorry. Son of a bitch. Our drives don't have the range to make it to rank all the fuel we have. We need to land. Damn it, hold on a few more minutes. Okay, now, we can land on the Prometheus, and if we do, it triggers ending one, or as I like to call, the coward's ending. But I'll show you that ending at the end of this video. Yes, sir, I'm on it. For now, I'm going to show you what I like to call the hero's ending, or the second ending, according to the game. They're gone. Sir, we've got bandits on Dreyas. Pilot, skew us cover for another minute. If you could just buy us that much more time, we can also make it to Ragnar. Since we don't have a firing solution, we have to shoot down these missiles manually, so it's critical that I order my wingmen to engage and destroy them whenever possible. Now, because we stayed and fought, we actually did... Roger. Attacking your target. We are going to fulfill our mission objective to protect the civilians. If we had left on the Prometheus, we'd be out of the fight. We would have failed those objectives, and our wingmen really wouldn't be very happy with us. But for me, uh, I felt that the second ending was more fitting for my character. At least the character I'm playing in this game. Roger. Attacking your target. Thank you, pilots. Thank you. Just because he did go so far to rescue Obit. Alright, that's the end of the mission. We did the right thing and we stayed behind. We did it. We're gonna be known as heroes. Oh, civilians managed to escape. Bogey's on Dreyfus. That's it for the civilians. Well, how about that? You know, after getting through all this, I have a great idea. Icon. Nice beaches. Warm sunsets. Icon's a great idea. <laughs> it's no better than here. It has the best swimming. You don't see the base ships out there, do you? Base ships? Ah, here I was thinking we were in trouble. Okay, that was the hero's ending. What I'm going to show you now is what would have happened if we landed on the Prometheus. This is ending one, or as I like to call it, the coward's ending. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.